Hello guys, welcome back to Math Easy. Today's video is for my elementary school friends. In today's video, we're going to learn of what off means in a mathematical sentence and what a percentage is in this case. So off in this case is multiplication, like 5 off 4 equals 20, right? So that basically means 5 times 4. And for question A, we're going to find out what 30% of 60 is. So 30% is basically 30 over 100 times 60. Remember this, okay? So 30% will, whenever it's a percentage sign, it's always going to be over 100. Like the number, percentage, percentage is going to make 100 go on the bottom, right? It's a decode for over 100, right? And 30 over 100 is just 30%. Like if I say 5 over 100, that's 5%. Right? So now we're going to continue to solve problems first. So from here, we're going to do 30 over 100 times 60 over 1. That means we can just put 30 and 60 over 100, right? Now we're going to cross out the zeros. There's one zero in 60 and one zero in 30, two zeros in 100. So we get rid of that. That turns into 3 times 6, which is 18. And there you go. That's done. Right? But there's another way if you don't understand this method, right? A star way, I would say. 30 times 60 over 100, right? You can make that into 1,800 over 100. Now, there's two zeros in 1,800, two zeros in 100, and that'll basically make 18 again, giving you the same answer. I hope this helps, yeah? Okay, now number two. So, now we're going to figure out... Yeah, now we're going to figure out what 24% of 30 is, of 300 is. Okay, and remember, of is multiplication. And in a sentence, that means times 300, see? So 24% over 300. That's going to be 24 over 100 times 300 over 1. Now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the numerators and the denominators, right? So this is going to give us 24 times 300 over 100. Right? And what we're going to do is divide 300 by 100, and this is going to give us 24 times 3. And that's going to give us 72, and that's going to be your answer. Now I'm going to go check the third question. Right? Okay, number 3. So, 33 one-thirds percent off... Wait, I forgot. Uh, off 30. Okay, let me just write that down. Off 30. Okay, so... We should try this yourself. I recommend it it's because it's a bit of a challenge problem. But I'll give you one hint, okay? So, 33 one third percent. So, so we're going to write this as 33.3%. Now, that one third is actually 0 0.333 forever, but we can just write it as three, 0 0.33. Now, 33.33 over 100, right? Okay, so now what you're going to do is use this information in number 3. Instead of using 33 one third percent, use it as 33.33. We are done for today. Make sure to like and subscribe to Math.